What's up YouTube? It's Cyberfelon and today I have two of these three car or three pack one foil card products that you can pick up at your local Target. Uh, I stopped by my local Target today mostly looking for a another legendary collection Kaiba, but unfortunately they didn't have it, which kind of really sucks. But I did see these and the reason I picked these up specifically is because if I'm correct about it, they have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Dark Side Dimension movie pack in it. And because Alternative White Dragon wasn't reprinted in the Legendary Collection Kaiba, he's actually gone up a lot in price. So if you can manage to find these, I definitely recommend picking them up because they'll either be, you know, you'll, you can actually play them in, because of the Legendary Collection Kaiba, or you can actually go ahead and use them as trade bait or even just if you don't even need oh wow did i miss the pack hold on oh yeah i missed the pack i was gonna say they ripped me off but yeah if you don't if you don't plan on playing alternative dragon you can easily trade it or sell it he's actually at a pretty decent price right now because he didn't get reprinted so without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna go into these packs first we're gonna look at the foil card that came with it and that's not a foil but it is chain dog and okay this one's a foil and this is from dbt i don't even remember what that set is but it's a dd assailant let me see if i can focus on that a little bit better yeah that's pretty nice i don't even remember what set that's from but that's pretty nice because that's an actually that's a really old card and i don't have it uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go into invasion vengeance first just because I want to save the movie pack for last. There's still pretty decent cards in here, mostly um, Dimensional Barrier, which would be really insane if I managed to pull it. Space Dragster and Spiral Last Resort. Oh yeah, I forgot Spirals came in here as well. Uh, I'm glad that card got hit. I honestly think it should probably just be banned and just kill the deck completely. But that's just my opinion. Sorry if I still sound a little weird. Uh, I'm still kind of recovering from a cold. Uh, Christron Rosenix. Christrons are in here, which is actually pretty good, especially when needle fiber comes to the TCG. Uh, Pot of Acquisitiveness, that's not too bad. There are certain decks that can actually play that. But the movie pack gold edition, or just the movie pack in general, I don't like that it's the gold edition, but I'd rather just have the movie pack then not have one so let's see if we can get an alternative that's the main reason i bought this uh gaia pandemic dragon clear karibo apple magician girl and a cubic I, I don't feel like reading but apple magician girl i do not believe i have her uh, next one is cubic lord Dark Cubic Lord, um, Metal Hole, The Moving Blockade, Lemon Magician Girl, I don't have her, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and can we get... No, just a Clear Karibo. Alright. So two packs are kind of duds. Let's see what this next one has in it. Hopefully it has something a lot better. Alright. Counter Gate. A Barry Magician Girl. I'm managing to get all the Magician Girls. Final keys. And no, Assault Wyvern. Oh, why? Alright. Last pack magic. Can I get that alternative? Or am I going to go cry in a corner? A Magical Contract Door. A Metal Hole the Moving Blockade. Oh, there's a Blue Eyes. Come with alternative? No. But I managed to get Sly for the Sky Dragon. Which is pretty nice. Though, he doesn't look that nice in gold. But that's it for today, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if there's any other products you'd like to see me open in the future, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. And until next time, later guys.